show you the best Pilates reformer stretches you can do to release lower back pain. We are gonna start with the reformer setup on one blue spring. Your long boxes are on long ways. Stand to the front of your reformer with a little soft bend at the knee. Take one hand to each corner of the box. Maintain two straight arms in a long spine position. Inhale, you're gonna push the carriage out, melting the chest to the floor. Keep pushing into the heels and pressing the hips back. Exhale with a flat back and a long neck, lift the chest up and the shoulders go wide. Inhale, you push the carriage out. Chest melts down, get a little bit deeper into that stretch each time. And then as you come up, you're gonna engage your lat, soften the shoulders, open across the chest. Inhale, you push it out, gazing down at the spring that is loaded at the bottom. And then as you come up and start to relax the shoulders, lift the heart, lengthen the neck, your eyes are gonna look out to the back edge of the box. Inhale, you push the carriage out, hips go back, chest melts down. And exhale, flat back, long neck, lift and lengthen up through center. As you move through this stretch, make sure to keep your core tight. Focus on your breathing. Focus on never letting your heels lift up behind you as we wanna keep them connected down to the floor the whole time to create that oppositional stretch. So you're gonna notice a really deep stretch in your hamstrings and maybe even a little bit of a release in the low back. We have three more. Inhale, you push it out. Melt the chest to the floor. And then exhale, flat back, long neck length and feeling your sacrum open. Last two, inhale as you go down. And exhale all the way back up. One more time, inhale as you go down and exhale, come back up. Now into a round back position, tilt your tail, scoop your belly, look at your belly button or in between the inner thighs. Dive forward like you're diving into a swimming pool. Lengthen out, look up in between the thumbs. Tilt your tail, scoop your belly, round through the spine, pulling the carriage back in. Inhale, dive forward with the crown of the head. Belly drops, your tail lifts and you look up. And then exhale, starting the movement with that flexion of the lumbar spine and the engagement of the lower abdominals. And that's what's bringing you back into center for that deep flexion and that decompression throughout the spine. Here we are undulating the spine. You are working into the natural curvature of your spine. The more you get that deep flexion at the top and that slight extension at the bottom, the more we're gonna increase the mobility of the spine. Always only to go to where it feels okay for you. Inhale out, exhale, engage your core and pull it back. And we have three more, making sure that the shoulders are wide and away from the ears. Feeling that deep hamstring stretch. Continue pressing the booty back as you extend out. And then round and contract your core. Feeling that deep stretch in the lumbar spine. One more time, inhale as you go out. Exhale, round back to center. Awesome work, bring your right knee to the chest. As you do that same dive, you're gonna extend the right leg back behind you in the air, inhale and then scoop the belly, round the spine, pull the knee to the chest. Inhale, you extend that leg way up, feeling that single leg hamstring and calf stretch now on that left side. Still keeping that left heel down and only lift up the leg as high as you can without feeling any pressure or pain. Feeling that deep glue and core engagement. Inhale, you lengthen. Also getting a beautiful stretch across the shoulders and upper back. Last two. One more time, breathing through it, lengthen out, hold it here. Can you just pulse that leg up and down? Feel your inner thigh spiral up. Drop that right hip slightly down. The glute engagement is what is lifting and lowering that right leg up and down just for three. Last two. 
and then round back in. Drop your right foot down. That left knee draws up to the chest. Round through the spine, contract your core. Inhale, extend the carriage up. As you extend that left leg back, spiraling the inner thigh up. And then exhale, scoop and round, knee to the chest. Inhale, you reach everything out. Exhale, pull it in. Make sure that the right toes are pointed straight forward. And just if you need to decrease your range a little bit because you're tighter on one side, that's okay. Listen to your body. Inhale, you dive forward and lengthen. Exhale, round through the spine, pull it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. One more time. Lengthen it out. Hold it there. We pulse that leg up and down. Feeling the glute engagement. Be what's supporting the low back as you lift and lower. Just for five, up. Four more. Last three. And for two. One more time. Round all the way back and knee to the chest. Drop it down. Bring your hands in front of the thighs or the foot bar. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders back and down. Chin and head up last. We're gonna do that same thing with a piriformis stretch. So bring your foot bar up. If you're tall, the foot bar will need to be a little higher, just depending on the length of the legs. My hips are super tight. That's just how I naturally am. So I drop the foot bar down a notch. So you're gonna bend your knee and bring your knee and your ankle onto the foot bar. One hand to each corner of the box. Push the carriage out. Melt your chest down as you try to push that right knee down into the foot bar. Exhale, come back in and lift. Inhale, you push out. Melt your chest down. Push that knee to the foot bar. Exhale, pull it back in. We have eight more. Try to get a little bit deeper into that stretch each time. And just start to really feel that external rotation of the femur bone in the hip joint. That's where our piriformis is. That's what we're getting into right now. So working hip mobility and flexibility and still getting a deep hamstring stretch. Often when our hips are super tight or our hamstrings are super tight, that is what's causing and pulling on our low backs, increasing pain. So by doing these exercises, when you are having a stiff low back, they can really help alleviate some of that pain. Two more. Inhale, you push it out. And exhale, round back in and lift. One more time, we go out and come back and switch. Right foot goes down. The left foot comes onto the foot bar and your knee turns out and we're gonna do that same thing. So you push it out and you lift back up. Inhale, push it out, melt your chest down. Exhale, lift and lengthen up to center. Trying to get a little deeper into that stretch each time keeping that core engagement and really focus on the stability of that right leg and the foot pressing evenly across all of your toes. And as you push out, avoid letting that left knee lift. So we wanna push that left knee to the foot bar the whole time, feeling that opening of the hip. Out and around, just three more, exhale. Inhale, pull, last two. One more time, take it out and round back and bring that left foot off. Come on up, bring your foot bar up all the way. Take that long box off. Keep the blue spring on. Come to a tabletop position with your forearms on the foot bar, making a number 11. Your feet are up against the shoulder blocks. We're still on that blue spring. Straighten your spine. Squeeze your core. Long line of energy from the tail out through the crown of the head. Inhale, push the carriage out using the strength of the legs. Exhale, slowly bring the carriage back in. We're maintaining that nice, long, flat spine position the whole time. Here, we're strengthening our lumbopelvic stabilizing muscles. 
So when the knees pull to center, that's where you're gonna feel the stretch. So you push out, and when you pull in, feel the tailbone lengthen back behind the heels. That's where we're getting the decompression around the sacrum. Push it out. Come back and slow and avoid flexing your spine. So keeping that nice, beautiful, long spine position. Feel your abdominals wrap. Try not to sink in the chest. So you wanna push firmly into both hands, staying active and lifted in the upper body. Your eyes are focused out about two feet on the floor in front of the foot bar. That's gonna keep the neck long and protect our cervical spine. Inhale, you push it out. Exhale, drag it back in, feeling that stretch around the sacrum. We just have three more here. And for two, one more time. Come back in. Awesome work, adjust the weight so that you have one red, one blue spring on. We're setting up for a flat back knee stretch. So straighten the arms, booty back to the heels. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, you push. Inhale, pull. Exhale, push. Inhale, pull. So the arms are straight and extended the whole time. It's a quick pace here. Out. And you're having that same sensation when you pull in. Booty on the heels. Pull. Out. Pull. This is the tempo you want it to be. It's a little bit quicker. And keep those arms straight and extended the whole time. Out. Pull. Out. Pull. Just for three. Keep that back flat. Last two. One more time. Awesome work. Step off to the right side of the reformer. Your right foot stays on the floor. The left knee comes off of the carriage. Your left foot is up against the shoulder block. Micro bend that right leg. Keep the left knee off. Two straight arms and we push. Pull that same thing quick out and in. We're here for eight. Feel the glute engage and lift up to the low back. Each time you push that carriage out. Push, pull just for four. Awesome work, last three. Feeling that hamstring glute, two. And one other side. Make your way to the left side. Left foot on the floor, hands on the foot bar. Right knee is up off the carriage. Stabilize the whole body and we push, pull, exhale. Inhale, we're here for eight. Abs are tight. Try not to rotate your shoulders or hips. Just for five, four, three, two, and one awesome work. Take the foot bar down. Adjust the weight so that you have just one blue spring on. Step the left foot up onto the platform and your right foot onto the carriage. Hands to the hips, two straight arms, two straight legs. Inhale, push out evenly into both feet. Your arms float up to shoulder height. Exhale, squeeze back to center and the arms float down. Keep your tail tucked. Keep your spine long and the heart lifted. And each time that you push the carriage out and float the arms up, feel your shoulders melt down the back into the ribs. Inhale, push out evenly into both feet, feeling that deep stretch throughout the inner thighs. And then we're targeting that inner thigh strength and pelvic floor strength to pull it to center. So when you pull in, engage your inner thighs, your pelvic floor, and even your glutes. And that's what's gonna drag the carriage back to center with length in the spine. Make sure you're not popping out your ribs. Make sure to feel that lat engagement as you pull in. Just for three, inhale out, exhale, pull. And for two, Awesome work. One more time. Come in half of the way. A little micro bend of the knees. Good morning stretch. Inhale with a flat back. You hinge forward. Exhale, lift up. Feel your glute engagement. The goal is to not have much movement in the carriage here and to keep the spine long. You want to keep your eyes focused out and up in front of you so that your neck stays in proper alignment with the spine. Inhale with a flat back, you hinge forward. Exhale, lift up and squeeze into the glutes just for three. You got it, stay with it. Last two. One more time, down, 
and up, bring it in. Now reach the arms back up again. You're gonna bend the left leg, push the right leg out. Right hand will tap the left toes. Then you'll lift back up to center. Inhale, you rotate, tap. Your gaze is gonna look up to the left hand. Adding onto that little extra neck stretch here. We take that deep side lunge and make sure your weight is pressing into that left heel and also into the big toe and second toe so we have proper joint alignment. Feel the deep inner thigh work that we're getting. Strengthening that stabilizing left leg and glute. And by getting into this beautiful rotation of the spine, we're getting a really nice stretch in the QL and we're actually getting into releasing the SI joints. Three more. If you're doing great, stay with it. Last two. One more time down and up and other side. So now the right foot is on the platform and the left foot is on the carriage. Hands to the hips, stand up tall. Push out evenly into both feet and the arms go up and half. Exhale, squeezing back to center, arms down. The tail is tucked and the spine is long. And each time that you lift up the arms, you're gonna feel the shoulders melt down the back and into the ribs. And when you pull the carriage in, lift up on the arches of the feet and that's gonna actually help us activate our pelvic floor even deeper. Inhale, you push it out. Exhale, lift up in the arches, squeeze into the inner thighs, pull the navel into the spine. We're here for three. And for two, feeling that expansion across the chest. One more time and come back in. Now the arms come up halfway, soften the knees, flat back, hinge forward, inhale. Exhale, lift up with length. Inhale with the flat back, you hinge. Exhale, lift up with length in the spine. Feeling that hamstring stretch, keeping your gaze out and slightly up. Remember to keep your core engaged throughout the movement and try to keep the arms lifted up to about shoulder height the whole time. Inhale down, exhale up. Just for three. Last two. One more time, down and up. Take the left hand, tap the right toes, gaze up to the right hand, lift to center. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, lift up with length. Eight more, get low, lift to center. And just notice maybe your range is a little limited on one side compared to the other. You may have to really reach through the arms and try to open the chest to get that full rotation on one side. Just for three. Two, one more time, down and up and step it off. Awesome work, bring your foot bars up. Adjust the weight, one red spring is on the reformer. We're not gonna go too heavy with this, but you're gonna come to an all four tabletop position. Your hands can either come to the shoulder blocks or I like to bring them down beside the shoulder blocks. Your right foot comes back behind you on the foot bar. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, lengthen the right leg out. Inhale, pull in slow. So we're keeping it slow. We're focusing on the glute work and we're focusing on supporting our low back muscles here. Exhale, reach, and as you extend that leg fully, think about pushing your heel back behind you. I like to imagine that there's a wall connected to the foot bar, and you're keeping your heel pressing against that wall as you go into that beautiful leg extension. Core tight, push into the hands, lift into the upper back, and remember to keep that left stabilizing leg directly underneath the knee at a 90 degree angle. That's how we're gonna strengthen the hip extensors. Just for three. Last two. And one, come back and now reach that left arm out and do that same thing, just extend and bend. Slow and controlled, exhale. And inhale, long line of energy from the right toes out through the left fingertips. Reach and pull, everything is active and strong. Exhale and inhale, breathing. Six more. 
Good work. We're here for five. Feel the glue engage and lift up to the low back each time that you press. Just for three. Last two. And one. Come back and switch the legs. Left hand down, right knee down. Left foot up onto the foot bar. Push out. Exhale. Inhale, pull to center slow. Remember, right knee directly underneath that right hip at a 90 degree angle. You don't wanna push out with that right knee and work into a quad stretch. Everything is stable and strong. Your neck is long. Your eyes are focused about four to five inches in front of your head resting down. And each time that you push into that left foot, you're pressing the heel back, feeling the hamstrings and the glutes activate. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Getting that full leg press each time. Just for three. Last two. One more time. Take it out. Bring it in slow. Now the right arm is going to reach out and you'll balance and do that same thing. Just push and pull. Exhale. Inhale, breathing. Balance. Reach long through the hand. Gaze still forward on the floor. Abs are tight to help you stabilize here. Just for three. Exhale, two. And one. Come on in. Awesome work. Lie onto your back. Grab the strap that's on the right side. Place it onto the right foot. We're still on that one red spring. Single leg stretches to begin. Let's start with just taking the left toes to the foot bar, dropping the left heel down, reaching that right leg up. You can grab onto the rope, give it a little pull for a deeper hamstring stretch. Just breathe right here into the stretch. One more big inhale. Exhale, push a little bit into the strap, float the left knee to tabletop, point your right toes and lower the right leg down. Flex the ankle, lift that right leg back up to center. Keep the left knee at that 90 degree angle the whole time and keep your abs tight and engaged as you move with your breath. Inhale, point and lower. Exhale, flex and lift, anchoring your tail heavy into the mat, creating that oppositional stretch up into the glute. Try to stay even across your shoulders and hips. And I like to reach the fingertips long away from the body. That way your shoulders stay relaxed. Just three more. See if you can lift that leg up a little higher each time. Last two. Awesome work. One more time. Take it down halfway. Flex the ankle. Bend the knee in as you extend the left leg out and switch. If it's too much on the low back, just aim your feet up a little bit higher. Keep your core tight the whole time. You can be an imprint or in a neutral pelvis, just depending on how it feels good on your body today. For me today, it feels a little better to be imprinted but we do want to work in a neutral pelvis sometimes for any foot and strap work. Three, just depending on how your back is feeling. Last two. Oh, one more time. Lift both legs up, cross the left ankle over the right, and we're just going to circle the legs to the right and around and up on that left side. The goal is to keep the movement fluid and not lift the hips too much off of the carriage. So a little slight lift of the hip is okay as long as it feels good on your body. Just listen to what you need today. Two more, inhale around and exhale down one more time. And let's reverse it to the left and around and back up on that right side. Feeling that stretch, squeezing into the inner thighs. Abs are tight, ribs stay connected. Three more. Good work, last two. 
one more time. And come up, extend the left leg straight out, extend that right leg up, hamstring stretch, you hold it. Option to grab onto the rope and give it a little pull for a deeper stretch. And then cross the left right leg over to the left side, getting into an IT band stretch. If it's too much pressure, go ahead and slightly bend at the knee. And if it feels good for you, you can always lift the hip up to deepen that stretch. Just breathe. Take that right leg out wide. Take your left foot onto the floor beside the reformer. Open the hips, extend that right leg out. Deep adductor and hip flexor stretch, hold it. One more big inhale. And exhale back to center. Take the strap off of the foot and grab the strap on the left side and place it up and onto that left foot. Hold the stretch for a moment here by just extending the right leg fully out and the left leg up. Breathe deep into the hamstring stretch. One more big inhale. Exhale, bring your right knee to tabletop. Point the left toes and lower the leg down. Flex the ankle, lift it up. Point and you lower and flex as you lift, deepening the stretch behind the leg each time that that leg comes up. Exhale down, inhale lift. Focus on your breath, focus on keeping the core tight the whole time. Four more. Last three, and for two, one more time, take it down, hold it there, bend one knee in, extend the opposite leg out. Try to keep that left foot lifted up slightly above the knee, that will keep that left strap above the knee. And if it's too much on your back or your hip flexors, go ahead and extend the legs up higher toward the ceiling or sky. Bend and press, pushing the energy through the heels at a diagonal from the hips. Just for three, abs are tight and we're focused on our pelvic and hip stability too. And one, cross the right ankle over the left, extend the legs straight up. Circle the legs to the left and around and back up onto that right side. Option to slightly lift up one hip if that feels good on your body. Just four more. Slow and controlled, starting to feel the obliques. Last three, two, and one, reverse the circle. We go to the left and around and up on that right side. Opening and stretching the body. Feeling that stretch around the sacrum and the low back. Two more. Awesome work, one more time. And around and up, reach your right leg straight out and the left leg up. Option to grab onto the rope and give it a little tug for a deeper hamstring and calf stretch. Just breathe deep, inhales, deep exhales here. Take the strap into the right hand and take that left leg over the body for our IT band stretch. Option to bend the knee or even lift up that left hip for a deeper stretch. Back to center, take your right foot onto the floor beside the reformer. Take that left leg out wide, anchoring the right hip down, getting into a hip flexor and adductor stretch. One more big inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Take the strap off of the foot. Come on up, setting up for mermaid stretch. So let's adjust the weight. One blue spring is on the reformer. 
Bring your right shin up against the shoulder blocks. Bring your left foot up against the right knee. Your left hand is to the center of the foot bar, right hand to the headrest. Push out, reach up and stretch out the side body. Lengthen and tap the hand down. Exhale, we push out, reach up and stretch. Inhale, lengthen and tap the hand down. The goal is to get a little bit deeper into that lateral flexion each time and keep that left arm straight and extended. Try not to let that left shoulder lift up to the ear. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift and tap. Two more. One more time, take it up and over. Rotate down, both hands down onto the foot bar, drop your chest. Right hand reaches underneath that left armpit, get a little twist, gazing underneath the left arm. Back to center, both hands on, lift the chest up, bring the carriage in. Push back out, drop the chest down. Rotate back to the starting position, come on up, grab the front shoulder block, bend into that right elbow, Reach the left arm way up, stretch out the side body, hold it, and then rotate down. Both hands on, drop your head and get a twist. One more time like that, push out, reach up, stretch out the side body. Rotate down, both hands on, drop your head. Thread the right arm underneath the left, grabbing onto the edge of the reformer, get a little twist. Back to center, both hands on. Lift the chest up, bring it in. Push back out, drop it down. Rotate all the way up to the starting position. Grab the shoulder block, bend into the elbow. Reach your arm way up, stretch out the side body, hold it. And then rotate it down, both hands on. Drop your head, get a twist. Awesome work, other side. So all you do is flip your knees up to roll over onto the other side. And now the left hand is to the center of the foot bar, right hand to the center of the foot bar, left hand to the headrest. Push out, reach and stretch out the side body, lengthen and tap that left hand down. Exhale, we reach up with length and stretch. Inhale, lift and tap. Trying to get a little bit deeper into that stretch each time without lifting your right shoulder up to the ear. Exhale, reach. Inhale and tap. Just five more. Last four. Exhale, three. Last two. One more time, reach it up. Come all the way up, grab the shoulder block, bend into the elbow, reach your arm way up. Rotate down, both hands on, drop your head. Come back up, push out, reach and stretch the side body. Rotate down, both hands on, drop your head. Left arm reaches underneath the right, get that spinal twist. Back to center, both hands on. Lift the chest up, bring the carriage in. Push out, drop it down. Rotate up to that starting position. Grab the shoulder block, bend into the elbow. Reach your arm up. Rotate down, both hands on. Drop your head. One more time like that. Push out, reach and stretch. Rotate down, both hands on. Drop your head. Left hand underneath the right. Get it to us. Back to center, both hands on. Lift the chest up, bring the carriage in. Push out, drop the chest down. Rotate all the way back up. Grab the shoulder block, bend into the elbow, reach it up. Rotate down, both hands on. Drop your head, awesome work. Adjust the weight to the lightest spring. One yellow spring is on. Your right foot. The toes come to the front edge of the carriage. The left foot is down on the carriage. Your feet are staggered. We're standing up on the reformer. So right foot forward, left foot back. You want your left toes parallel with the right heel. Your spine is long. Two straight arms, two straight legs. If you're unable to keep the legs straight, walk your feet a little bit more forward. And now stabilize the upper body. Inhale, push out. 
exhale, pull it in. The goal is to only move a couple of inches and to keep both of the heels down the whole time. Here you're gonna notice your left femur bone lengthening out of the hip joint and back up into its socket as we also get a really great calf stretch here. Just for three. Last two. And one, switch your legs. Your right foot goes back and the left steps forward. Two straight arms, two straight legs, neck is long. Push out, pull to center, nice and slow. Exhale and inhale, breathing. Your core is tight the whole time. Both arms are straight and extended. Just for three, last two, and one. Come back in, step off to the side. Adjust the weight, one blue spring goes on the reformer. Setting up for our psoas stretch. So hands are on the foot bar, two straight arms. Bend the left leg, push the right leg back to a lunge. Hold it here and breathe. Your left arm is gonna reach up and over, stretch out the side body. Come back up. Now the right arm reaches over to stretch. Come back up, reaching that left arm back behind you. Get a little twist, open the chest. Back to center, right arm reaches back and we open the chest. Back to center, come back up. Straighten the left leg, lift the toes, take it back into split. Come back up, drop the foot, bend the knee down to the forearms, push it back, tuck your chin, look down at the floor. Just melt into the stretch right here. One more big inhale and exhale. Come on up, make your way to the other side and we'll go to that same thing again. So right foot on the floor, left foot against the shoulder block, bend and stretch it back to a deep lunge. Reach your right arm up and over, stretching out the side body. Hold it. Back to center, both hands on. Left arm reaches up. We lengthen the waist and breathe. And both hands on. Right arm reaches back. Get a twist. Back to center. Left arm reaches back and we get a twist. Back to center, lift on up, straighten the right leg, lift up the toes, take it back into your split. Lift back up, drop the foot, bend the knee down to the forearms, tuck your chin, look down at the floor and just melt into that stretch right here. One more big inhale. Exhale, come on up, we're gonna finish back with that flat back stretch. So one blue spring still on, Forearms on the foot bar, spine is long. Gently push the legs out two to three inches. Gently pull it back to center. As the knees pull in, feel that spread around the sacrum. Feel that stretch in the low back. Keep pulling the abdominals in, it's very slow here. Let the springs guide you back in as your tail lengthens back behind you to the heels. Keep your eyes focused about four to five inches in front of the foot bar and down. And then think about pushing firm into the elbows so that we're active and lifted in the upper back. We don't want to sink in the chest. Your heart is lengthening forward and your lats are engaged. Just for three. Last two. And one, bring your hands on the foot bar, push out to a child's pose. You can walk your hands down, drop your forehead down to the mat and just breathe. Round through the spine, come back up, step it off. Awesome work today, we are done. Do this series every time that your low back is feeling pain and I promise you're gonna feel a lot better. Have a great day. Oh, 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 oh.